In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, and a very warm welcome to Mass on this Pentecost Sunday. Celebrate this Mass today for Hugh Rogers, who died recently, praying for him, praying for his wife Margaret, and for his family at this time. That last, that hymn that we just heard, at least the music of, is entitled Listen. And of course, one of the things that we have to do is to listen out for the Holy Spirit. He's not, doesn't often come through us in such a way that he demands our attention and comes quietly as a dove or a gentle breeze into our lives. And therefore, we have to be attentive to him, his guiding, his presence, his healing. So for all the times then, when we've turned a deaf ear to the Spirit of God, let us seek God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am really sinful, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my disgrace's fault. Therefore, I ask as a fairy ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me and to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. So let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church and every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one Lord forever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Pentecost Day came round, the Apostles had all met in one room, when suddenly they heard what sounded like a powerful wind from heaven the noise of which filled the entire house in which they were sitting. And something appeared to them that seemed like tongues of fire. These separated and came to rest on the head of each of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak foreign languages as the Spirit gave them the gift of speech. Now there were devout men living in Jerusalem from every nation under heaven. And at this sound they all assembled each one bewildered to hear these men speaking his own language. They were amazed and astonished. Surely, they said, all these men speaking are Galileans. How does it happen that each of us hears them in his own native language? Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, people from Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya around Cyrene, as well as visitors from Rome, Jews and proselytes alike, Cretans and Arabs. We hear them preaching in our own language about the marvels of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Send, send forth, forth your spirit, O Lord. Lord. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are. How many are your works, O Lord? The earth is full of your riches. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. 
May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find my joy in the Lord. Thank you, Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faith, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia. crucified Messiah of Israel, now he was also the risen Lord, not simply Israel's Messiah, but Lord of all the earth. Suddenly they are filled with confidence and bravery in the proclamation of the gospel. We have to try to discern what our task is now. Every generation is given a task. Ours now is going to be how do we rebuild, how do we re-proclaim the gospel post-pandemic? How do we go out again and reassure men and women of the love of God, of the reality of Jesus the Messiah who died and rose again and who is the Lord of the earth and our Lord? Today's gospel takes a little different tack. Jesus is speaking again in John's gospel about the Spirit of God, the Advocate who will now guide the church. Hence we have to listen, guide us into the truth that we need now, the methodologies we need now, the way of life we need now. So we need to be listening to him. And discernment is enormously difficult because of course there's lots of voices coming at us. How to hear the voice of God through all the voices and how to hear the voice of God in the voices that we might hear. The voice of discernment then path of discernment is one of listening and of quiet and of silence and we need to do it in order to be led into the truth that we need now. But inevitably it will take us back to the beginning that the truth we need now is the confidence in the gospel that we will proclaim it, confidence the gospel that we will share it. Because the gospel is about peace and union and unity. But the great thing is 
union and diversity. It's not that all their voices were changed into one. Their voices were still the same. All those nations around the eastern Mediterranean are described there. Not quite the nations of the world, but the nations of the world around Jerusalem. The nations of the world where the Jews were scattered and they were there for the, the Feast of Pentecost, our Feast of Pentecost, their Feast of Weeks. And they hear a single gospel, the one gospel proclaimed in their own languages. And we always should go back and listen to what happens, because what happens in the past can discern our future or help us discern our future. And certainly what we're not asked to do is go out and form a unity in the world that's conformity. It's a unity within diversity. It's a unity that says all nations, all languages should be part of the one church of Jesus Christ, but each still sharing their different um, cultures, their, their different ways of life, all under the one Lord. So today is a day when we should be rejoicing at the birth of the church, rejoicing at the gift of the Spirit, but asking for ourselves a renewed gift of the Spirit, that we ourselves might fulfil our vocation now, because our vocation comes to us from God, and the energy and the skills to fulfil our vocation is also available to us from God. So we do that today, uh, and we do it on this Pentecost Sunday, and let's pray that coming to the end of this COVID time. And as you'll see in the newsletter, uh, next Sunday we will seek to express our solidarity as one church simply by taking a little collection for the poor this time in a little hospital in India. And from the beginning, one of the ways that the early church expressed its unity one with another was simply to gather little bits of money and take it to the places where people were poor. So we'll do that again, but it's a sign of our solidarity that we are one church, one faith, under one Lord. On this uh, Feast of Pentecost, then let's renew our own personal vows of baptism. Would you please stand? <coughs> do you renounce Satan? Amen. And all his works, and all his empty show. Amen. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Amen. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Amen. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins? the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. So where of the Spirit and work in us, we bring our prayers to our Heavenly Father. For baptised and confirmed people, that the Holy Spirit may keep them faithful. Lord hear us. Lord gracious to hear us. For countries affected by war, that the Spirit may renew the face of the earth. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious and hear us. For people in Israel and Palestine, that the Spirit may bring peace with justice. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious and hear us. For all who gather to celebrate Pentecost, that our faith may be firm, our hope sure, and our love without end. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious to hear us. For those who have lost to death, that the Spirit may awaken them to life without end, especially Elizabeth Coulthard, who has died recently, and Alison Ferguson, Mariana Luciano, Ian Swanson, May O'Donnell, Patrick Higgins, Elizabeth Reynolds, Elizabeth Breslin, James Mooney, Margaret Wilson, Thaddeus Conley, and Alison Eddie McGuire, whose anniversary is fall at this time. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. And so we bring our own prayers before the Lord. And so as I offer the sacrifice of this Mass for Huey Rogers, 
So we bring all our faithful departed before the Lord, asking Mary, the mother of Jesus and mother of the church, to pray with us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and the hour of our death. Amen. Lord God, how great you are, how many are your works. Let your Spirit guide your people to strengthen them in every need, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Seated. Um, obviously, I've just given you the notice, just reminding you of the special collection uh, next week for this hospital in India, this COVID hospital in India. Also, you'll see in the newsletter that tomorrow evening we're having Rosary and Benediction at 7 p.m. Uh, you are very welcome to come to that. It will be recorded and put out on YouTube, but if you want to come along, you are certainly very welcome to join us uh, tomorrow evening at 7 uh, you also note that next Saturday we are having a Mass for the sick. It's impossible to anoint people uh, in a group the way that we would once have done, so we'll be praying for the sick. Um, however, if anyone feels the need of anointing, then perhaps at the end of Mass you can come in, but it means we need to have little, little individual balls of cotton wool for everybody, let less we use the sack of the sick to spread COVID. But you are very welcome to come along, to pray for those who are sick, Pray for those who are COVID, pray for the nurses and the staff of any the NHS who are working to find a way through all of this. So next Saturday uh, we'll do that and tomorrow of course is the Feast of Mary, Mother of the Church. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth to perfect the profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory 
as they agree. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose commandment we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Michael and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh God, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis our Pope and Leo our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. The Spirit forms us as the one family, confidently calling God Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. 
Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May the peace of Christ go to this altar and to your hearts and hearts. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those calls to the Son of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Although you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
want you to.